In the movie Thor, which was released in America on May 6, African-American actor Idris Elba plays Heimdall, the all-seeing gatekeeper of Asgard, and does a very good job. Heimdall, as portrayed by Elba, is imposing and formidable, but also clever, honorable, and intensely loyal to Odin. The Council of Conservative Citizens in the US has planned to boycott Thor for its casting of a black man as a god. Elba has dismissed the boycott as ridiculous, and remarked that Thor is mythical, right? Thor has a hammer that flies to him when he clicks his fingers. That's okay, but the color of my skin is wrong? Granted, the original Norse gods, on which the Thor comics and movie were based, would have been white. We envision gods in our own image, which accounts for the bearded white man worshipped in Judaism and Christianity. It makes sense that Scandinavia, a community of white Europeans, would have imagined its gods as white people. But the Thor movie is a film adaptation of the Marvel comic series, which was, in turn, inspired by some ancient legends. While retaining the characters and basic backstory from Norse mythology, Thor is far removed from its source material. Thus, the filmmakers had a lot of room for creative freedom, and this included casting a black man as the god Heimdall. Also, we live in a more tolerant and just society than even 50 years ago. Though they still face discrimination, black people and other ethnic minorities can hold office, work in the same careers, and enjoy the same freedom and opportunity as white people. Or at least I sincerely hope so. Blacks and whites are equal, and the increasing acceptance of blacks in society has led to them being portrayed as cool, powerful heroes. Consider this. Heimdall's character would have been no different if a white actor had played him. Heimdall would have still been a strong, dignified protector of Asgard, and a white actor would be no more capable in the role. Why does the Council of Conservative Citizens regard Idris Elba as unworthy of playing Heimdall? I'd assume that they also disapproved of Morgan Freeman playing God in Bruce Almighty, even though I now can't see anyone else in the role, except possibly Ian McKellen. Where is this supposed radical anti-white campaign the Council of Conservative Citizens accuses Marvel of perpetrating? Every member of the Avengers is white, and Spider-Man, the Fantastic Four, most of the X-Men, and the majority of Marvel's major superheroes are white. Even though Thor has white people as the protagonist, antagonist, and the father of the gods, the Council of Conservative Citizens seems to object to seeing a black man in any position of power. This demonstrates just how racist the Council is. Also, why aren't they complaining about Hogan, a god played by Japanese actor Tadanobu Asano? The Norse gods were originally white, but Norse legends are stories that we are free to change, and casting black people as heroic figures is a natural result of blacks gaining the acceptance they deserve. If you support racial equality, then Heimdall's ethnicity shouldn't be an issue. I barely noticed it. There is nothing wrong with casting a black man as a god, and the Council of Conservative Citizens, which is a bunch of bigots opposed to homosexuality and interracial marriage, for God's sake, is getting worked up over nothing. Thank you all for watching. Cheers.